Hello everyone, it's Jess, and welcome back to my channel. For today's timeless message, whenever you find it, it is meant for you, that I recorded on May 16th, 2024. I will be using the numerology guidance cards by Michelle Buchanan. There's a front of that box cover now. We'll go ahead and set it in the background here. Off camera, as I always do, I'm cutting and shuffling my decks. And now we're just releasing any negative energy that still may be attached to the divine. Oh, okay. That one wanted to come out. We're going to take it. Okay. Let's start in on this one. I may end up pulling an additional card. But right away, look at this. All right, look at how that card is there with the bright orange and the purple. How does orange and purple resonate with you? Colors hold energy. Colors hold meaning. Pay attention to colors that are repeating. Go out and do your homework. Number 91. And 9 plus 1 is 10. Are you seeing 91 or 10, 10 in your environment? Pay attention. Go out and research. Do your homework on numerology right? Specifically the number 91, if that is what is repeating in your environment, or 10. And certainly any number for that matter. Go out, do your homework. Surrender. Wow. When I say surrender, what comes to mind, right? What do you think about, okay? Sometimes we need to surrender to what is, all right, spirit wants to come forward and communicate with you, wants me to relay the message to you. It's sometimes surrender looks like accepting what is and allowing things to just actually be what they are without any attachment to the outcome or attachment on how something shows up for you in your life, right? Surrendering to the divine, whether that's the divine packaging that something shows up in our life, maybe looking differently than what we ever thought it would, to divine timing. You know, we've done all the work, we've done the mindset shifts and, you know, been very mindful of our emotional state as well as taking action steps in the 3D, and yet we still have to release that control of the divine timing of when things will actually come to us and come into fruition, maybe different than what we expected and being okay with that, surrendering into that, all right? We're gonna get into the booklet here and see what else Michelle had in mind when she created the card, all right? Not my... Words, friends, the hard work of Michelle Buchanan, okay? Anything else I'm adding is coming through. Either spirit as a collective energy message that is a download that is channeled, bringing that forward to you, okay? Or I'm taking information from my own life experience, all right? That may never resonate with you at all, and that is okay. We're going to get into the booklet here. Surrender. And whatever area comes to mind, Spirit wants me to emphasize, when I say the word surrender is indeed the area that you need to focus on, okay? This card indicates a need to surrender your attachment to a particular situation or preferred outcome, all right? Because your inability to let go is impeding your success. Desperation blocks manifestation, doesn't it? Therefore, the more you struggle to attract your desire, the more you push it away. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to detach from the situation and surrender the outcome to the divine, right? You need to release what you think about it, right? You need to accept it as it is what it is right now in this moment, okay? And feel comfort in knowing that this is in the divine's hands, okay? The universe's hands, okay? 
You've done everything that's in your control. Now it's time to allow. Allow it to come in. Allow it to come into fruition the way it's meant to. All right? Don't try to judge that process. A lot of times we get caught up in the judgment of how something looks. Okay? Or persisting on things that are out of our control, really. Okay? In order to attract what you want, you must give the universe space to deliver your request. This can only be achieved by getting out of the way so that everything can unfold as it should. It isn't your job to quote unquote make it happen. It is simply your job to allow it to happen. When you surrender the outcome to the divine, you let the magic flow, all right? You don't put any type of expectation on it, all right? You allow it to come in as it should, all right? Instead of making it feel like it can only show up in this one way for you. And when you do that, you actually push away what is meant for you. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life, cycles that are encouraging you to let go, trust, trust the process, and surrender to the outcome, okay? Let go of the need to control. Make peace with your life as it is today, right now in the present moment. The only promised time is right now. So you need to accept your life as it looks like right now. Appreciate what you already have. When you do what brings you joy rather than fret about the end result, divine order and timing will bring the perfect outcome your way. Don't self-sabotage by staying blinded to what possible outcomes might come your way just because they might come in a different packaging, a divine packaging that's a little bit different. So this could mean opportunities coming your way that are coming different opportunities that you wouldn't normally accept. You're being encouraged to see them and accept them. Relationships, okay? Maybe there's individuals entering in your life that you wouldn't normally necessarily seek out or be attracted to, but some reason the universe is bringing them forward to you. Don't just automatically push people away because the packaging is different, okay? Hold space and be open to anything is possible right? And you won't limit yourself to all of the opportunities coming your way. Affirmation. I receive the best possible outcome when I surrender to the divine. I receive the best possible outcome when I surrender to the divine. Okay. Let me know what you're surrendering to the divine in the comments. I'd love to know what you are allowing, what you are giving back to the universe so they can hold it in their hands. God, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel, all right? As you've done all the work, let me know what you're doing in the comments, okay? Let me know what area this resonates for you. I'm very, very interested in what you are surrendering today. Tomorrow's not promised, not to anyone. Yesterday, done and over. Take the lessons learned and apply it to your life, to all of your present moments, so that you may change the trajectory of your life and not have to repeat lessons because you failed to learn and apply that information. What are you surrendering today? Let me know.
spend some time taking action today. And maybe your action is simply surrendering to the outcome as it is what it is. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Put your best foot forward and be the best human you can be. And come back again and join me for yet another Collective Energy message. Bye-bye.